Edema is a swelling within the tissues. Commonly, it's caused by an expansion of the interstitial fluid volume. What does this mean? Well, remember first of all that the left-hand side of your heart, when it contracts, generates huge amounts of force and pushes oxygen and nutrient-rich blood through your arteries, arterioles, until it hits the capillary beds. Now, the capillary beds contain pores, little holes that allow for fluid to be pushed out. So you've got this fluid being pushed out containing solutes, so oxygen, nutrients, um, ions, for example, and we call this the hydrostatic pressure, the outward push. Not everything leaves the capillary bed. Some things remain inside because they're too big. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and proteins. Remember, proteins have a negative charge associated with them, which means water is attracted to it. So we also have an inward pulling force that's dragging fluid back in. This is called the oncotic pressure, and you can see they balance each other out. Great. But not all the fluid that gets pushed out gets pulled back in. Some remains in the space between the cells, called the interstitial area. This fluid can be dragged into the lymphatic system, which can then be delivered back to the venous system. Great. Now, what's happening in edema? Well, anything that's going to increase the amount of fluid being built up in this interstitial area can result in edema. So one, it could be an increase in the hydrostatic pressure. What could cause this? The left-hand side of the heart working too hard, pushing stuff out. The right-hand side of the heart not working anymore, heart failure, backing things up. The veins being blocked, deep vein thrombosis, for example, or compressed, so some sort of external compression, can increase the outward push. Or anything that decreases the inward pull, so that oncotic pressure, so removal of those proteins. If the liver isn't making these proteins, it's not happening. If the kidneys are peeing out these proteins due to damage, it's not happening. This fluid builds up in the interstitium. Or somebody may be malnourished or malabsorption of proteins. And again, that's gone, no inward pull. What if the integrity of the capillary is damaged? So it could be due to uh, surgery, or it could be uh, injury, or it could be inflammation, increasing the size of these holes and pores, and these proteins leak out. So again, no inward pull. And finally, the lymphatic system. It can be damaged, it can be blocked, and it can be surgically removed. And again, the fluid isn't being reclaimed and it stays in the interstitial.